Hey everybody, it's GliderCat and it's time to play. Today I've got a preview video for an upcoming game called Railgrade. I downloaded the free demo as part of the Steam Game Festival, which started on February 3rd, 2021. So let's start this uh, preview by watching the official game announcement trailer, and then we'll fire up the demo, play through that, and see what the game's all about. All right, here we go. Here is the trailer. But let's just jump in and get a look at the gameplay. We'll go into career mode here. I'm going to pick start fresh and I'm just going to hit yes because I've already played it once. All right, I can read through this a little bit. Welcome to our division, Mr. Yoshida. Thanks for taking over the colony. I know you had no choice, but all the same, I'm thankful. Remote administration confused me to no end. Back here on Earth, the sun is bright and birds are singing. I'll send you a recording, but the interstellar bandwidth is expensive. Please think of Earth anytime the colony air gives you the coughs. Keep your mind focused and make things right, and I'm sure they'll bring you back home. Considering the situation, your top priority should be restoring the economy. Our lawyers have negotiated rights to use railroads on the planet. You'll be the sole authority on the colony planet. Don't let the power go to your head. Saito, department head of off-world colonies, Nakatani Chemicals. All right, we'll just hit space to continue. All right, here we go. Assignment, first job, administrator. A nearby region is having problems with their water pumps and desperately need some water shipments. Connect the water pumps in this region to the export dock up north by building railway lines. You'll need at least two stations on each rail line before you can build a train on it. We need a lot of water, so try adding more trains or railway lines to reach the goal faster. All right, so on this map, and the clock is ticking, and that's just going to determine our rank. So we have more than nine and a half minutes. But we've got our main station here, our Zeppelin dock, and we've got, uh, looks like about four water pumps that we need to run uh, railroad tracks too. So we start by laying down the track. I'll pop down a track here. And we want to keep it kind of level if we can. So I'm going to come down here, down here, uh, down here, and down here. Okay, so now we've got a track connecting these two buildings. I'll go ahead and I got to pop a station on each one before we can build the train. And all of this is costing us money. And now I'm going to go ahead and build a train. And I can just, uh, I can set the direction here. I'll hit R to rotate it so it's facing down. We can zoom in a little bit, a little easier to see. Click once. And now I assemble my train. We've got one engine. It looks like it's already there. And it looks like it's this guy, the Westminster Shunty. But we need uh, water, cargo. And I think we can do... Up to five of these per engine. It said five to six, I think, in the in some hints that I saw. Let's go ahead and hit accept. Okay, there our train goes. The first one. Just gonna head down to the water station here. We'll watch this and then we'll set up some more lines. Alright, it's loading up. 
doesn't cost us anything to get the water, it looks like. Train automatically turns around on the track. And back we go. It looks like we're going to deliver five. We needed 80 to complete this mission. So there it goes. They pop off. We're getting a hundred dollars or a hundred yen for each one. All right. That's it for the first one. Now we need to get 80. So we need to kind of speed things up. Another approach is to have a loop. So we've got one track here. I can put two trains on this. They're allowed to go through each other, but if they do, you pay, I believe you pay a penalty. It's not real expensive, but you pay a small fee every time the trains have to go through each other. So the next approach we'll take though, is let's make a loop. So I'm going to start from in here just to save room. I'm just running some new track down. And we'll head down to this other one. The track costs money. Loop around here like this. And then let's see if we can actually make a loop with this guy. Doesn't, doesn't look like it's letting me. Let me go ahead and delete some. We'll see if we can connect that up. Okay, so now I've got a loop. I'll right click to get out of the build. Drop my stations. Put one here. And one here next to this guy. And now let's go ahead and build a train for this track. I'll pop it down. It defaults to the initial configuration that we had. That's not bad. I'm going to take it. We're mostly on flat ground, so we can get by with one engine. If we were going up hills and things, we might want to add more engines. So pretty much just like we saw, this guy's going to go around and do the same thing. But now we can put more trains on here. So let's do it. We've got the cash. I'm going to put another train just like that one. Hopefully heading in the same direction. And I'll just click accept. You can see what the train's going to look like up here. Accept. Now we've got two trains on this line and they're not going to run into each other. And again, we have to supply 80 water. We've got 20 supplied so far. So then how many trains would you put on a given track? Well, one of the limitations of the game is these industries can only produce so much. So right now, this one, this water pump has Let's see, it has a stockpile of 11 water. If we put too many trains on here, this will get drained down to nothing. And then trains will come by and they won't be able to fill up entirely. I'm not sure if we'll see that in this playthrough or not. But uh, yeah, if there's no, st if the stockpile isn't full enough to fill your train, that train's gonna leave kind of partially full. And it's kind of a waste of money because there is maintenance on the trains as they run. So what can you do about that? If you do start running low, if you look over here to the right, you do have the option to level up these industries. Now this one, it costs 5,000 yen to do it, but that'll increase the speed of production and it'll increase the storage amount. So a stockpile would go up to, I don't know, maybe 20. And then this speed of producing the water would go up. So that's one aspect of the game. We'll let this one run through. Let's see, I'm gonna right click to get out of this context menu. We're more than halfway there. We could do more trains, but I think I may just let this run. What I might do is pop another train, a small one on this track, just so you can see what happens when they run into each other. Let's go ahead and do that. I'll go to train. I'm gonna pop one down here. I'm gonna delete some of these components on the train. So we'll just have this guy have two water tanks. I'll hit accept. Now we've got two trains on the same piece of track. Let's watch what happens. It's going to fill up with water, automatically reverse, and then boom, they meet. One train is allowed to go through the other, but I think we'll see a charge here. 79.89. And then there it is, minus 108. There was a little red number that popped up. We'll see it again. 
So we had to pay 108 yen penalty just because these two trains ran through each other. But it didn't stop the game. It didn't break anything, really. That was maintenance at 34. I think. I'm pretty sure that was a maintenance at 34, that little number that popped up. And now let's look for a B. There. Uh, I don't see it. I don't see it. I'm pretty sure there's a penalty for that. Not 100% positive, but I think there is a penalty for having these trains run through each other. Let's watch one more time. We're almost done with this little mission. Okay, they stop. It does slow down, obviously, your production when you have the trains going through each other. One train has to stop completely. Okay, I'm not seeing the penalty. So it could be that the number I saw was just maintenance on one of the trains. All right, so that was quick and easy. That's our first scenario. We got it done. We got a personal best. Not bad. We will continue on. All right. It says, thanks, administrator. We needed you and you delivered. You saved our bacon. We were chatting and we agree. You're the coolest administrator Nakatani has ever assigned. I heard you arrived here on the same economy class rockets we all did. Never heard of a corporate employee from Earth ever traveling to colony planets by work rocket. You must be the most humble Earther ever. And then it's signed by nameless null of null, location unknown. All right, it's a little bit of humor there. All right, and then here is our mission map, I suppose. And we've got this little, uh, <laughs> little, I forgot what they call it. Uh, looks like a hot air balloon. And I'm just using WASD to steer this guy. A little Zeppelin here over to the next, uh, mission. And then I think I just hit go is space. If I look here at the bottom, right? So I'll just hit the space key. It says enter region landing at this region will grant you control over the region's resources and industries. I'll take it. So I'll hit, yeah. Hey, Yoshida, good job on the water delivery. You've learned the basics of track laying and track train configuration. I'll assign you a new region, which might prove more of a challenge. Sorry for the distance. I'm not good with maps. Nothing hard. Just make sure you keep basic economics in mind. Target train lengths of about one engine per three to six freight cars. Any less, and you're likely to lose money. Remember, longer trains require more engines and best work on long railways. Perhaps the most important of all, build multiple railways. Saito, Department Head of Offworld Colonies, Nakatani Chemicals. Let's hit space to continue. All right. Like oil and water. Okay, this I'm looking at the top right here. This city needs to be supplied resources at a steady rate to grow. Right now, it just needs some water. So hook up the western water pumps to the city. As long as enough water comes in, the city will slowly grow and reach a level one city designation. Check the city details to see the current rate of input required and the demand will grow with the population. All right, let's get to it. Let's find our water plants. Looks like there's two way over here. Water pump there and a water pump there. So we need to run tracks all the way over there and hopefully we can keep them close to the ground. Uh, we need to decide if we want to have them bounce into each other or do a loop. Let's see if we can get away with a loop. Maybe a little bit of a challenge. Uh, let's see, because I kind of know we're going to have to do this power plant next, so I want to leave room for that. All right, let's just see what we can do. We'll run some track here. That's always the first step. Boom. And then let's come around, and as fast as we can turn out of there, let's do it. Okay, that's going to be the road back. Let's connect up here and see if we can stay on the level ground. It's going to make our trains go a little bit faster. It's also going to be cheaper to build this track. All right, we're doing pretty good here. We'll just loop around here. And then see if we can squeeze through. Looks like we're going to be all right.
All right, cool. Next step always is our train stations. We'll pop one down next to the city. Boom. And then one next to our water plant. Boom. And let's get some trains going. Pop a train down here that looks like a fine direction. Boom. Okay, we've got one engine. We're pretty flat terrain, so I'm going to take a chance. I'm going to go with six tanks. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try six. It might be slow, but we're pretty level. I'm going to accept that. And again, we can upgrade these, but it's 5,000 yen to do it. We may not even need this water pump. Or what we could do... Well, let's see. Let's just see how this goes. How this train moves. It is a pretty long trek. I bet we could get by with two. Let's uh, let's put another train down. These aren't expensive because we're getting by with one engine. So I'm just going to hit accept and get this guy on his way. These guys are not perfectly timed half and half, but we'll see. Okay, we're starting to deliver water to the city. Now, if I click on the city... We can see here's the water supply. They are consuming it as we supply it. And as long as it stays, I think, above this little marker here for some period of time, the city is going to level up. So we'll just keep an eye on that. Okay, our second train. Let's see how our water supply is doing here. We still have more than enough to fill the train. Could even put a third train on this track. And so right now we're getting by without having to even use the second water pump. We'll see how long that lasts. Just watch this run for a little bit longer and then maybe we'll pop down a third train on here. I think we're good, right? We've got two trains worth now almost sitting in the storage yeah let's drop a third one down we'll wait a couple minutes or not even a minute we'll wait a few seconds after that guy goes by kind of space them out a little bit at least to start all right i'm going to select train pop this guy down he looks like he's in the right direction okay 1250 yen for that one we're doing okay on money now on this map there's also a couple buildings here that are worth noting if i as I hover over the city, there's a couple buildings that stand out. This one here is a bank. So if I click that, I can borrow money or I can actually bank some money and make interest. So for example, if I want to deposit some of this extra cash I got, I can earn, you know, very little interest. But let's do that just for the heck of it until we need the money and we'll come back. And then we can also borrow money from the bank. And we've got this accountancy. And I'm not sure what this does yet. It says hand calculated revenue and expenses reported alongside the money balance. Upgrade for the next level is 200 yen. That's not much. So let's just upgrade it and see if anything happens. Okay. Library of accountancy law maintained profit reported per international guidelines. So I'm not sure what this does yet. It doesn't really mention it in the demo, but I just wanted to show you it so you know it's there. Let's see how our water plant's doing. Okay, we're down to one water. Now, there's what I said. See how we've got a train leaving, and it is not even full of water. It looked like we were going to be okay, but now it looks like we're running this place dry. It's got three. So there's a couple things we can do. We can look at upgrading that so that our trains are always going full. Cost 5,000 to do it. Let's just see. Keep an eye on this for a second. Yeah, we've only got three. Oh, four we got out of that one. But this next one's going to be starved out. This train's not going to have hardly anything. Let's just see what he gets. 
we may need to take some of that money out of the bank and upgrade this. Yeah, he's only got two. Let's do that. I haven't done it before. Let's take, uh, let's, let's do an upgrade and see what that's all about. We'll go to the bank if I can find it. Let me right click out of that. I'm going to withdraw some money. That's all I need. We still have 2000 in the bank. I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. I haven't tried this yet. All right. Now we're kicking out a lot more water. And so this line will end up being a little more profitable. As long as these trains are always leaving the station full. And hopefully it will keep up. It still looks like it's going to have a hard time, isn't it? And I don't want to spend 15000 to upgrade it again. <laughs> so we'll see how it does. It's got to be better than it was. Yeah, we're still getting empty trains. All right, well, let's let that do its thing. Let's see how we're doing in terms of satisfying the city's needs. We're coming up a little short. We may need to go ahead and put another line down. Yeah, we probably need to put another line down, unfortunately. I thought we might be able to pull it off with the upgrade. It's catching up here a little bit. Like this train's going to leave full. Let's set up a single... Yeah, let's set up another loop. Now, it's going to cost us money building this track. But we can do another loop here, I think. Let's come here, here around all right let me pull this out it's just hard getting a loop let's come in the other direction Barely made it. Okay, we level up the city, so we provided enough water. Now we've got some new needs. Uh, level 1 city requires more inputs to continue growing. Energy is one of the accepted level 1 inputs, so hook up the oil wells to the oil power plant and send the energy to the city. You will also need to assign workers from the city to power the plant for it to function. All right, well, let's finish this rail line that we were building. Grab the track. And let's see if we can snake around here. This might be a little tricky to squeeze in tracks. We can just come straight down and around. Squeeze through there. Very nice. Pop down a couple stations. One. Oh, we might be out of cash. Let's go ahead and take the rest of our money out of the bank here. We'll withdraw a couple more thousand. All right. And get back to putting our stations down. One and two. And then we'll drop a train. Hopefully we've got enough money left to do that. That should get us going on water. Pretty good. And we're going to have to take a loan here now. But uh, let's get oil figured out. I'm going to go ahead and take a loan from the bank because I know we're going to need it. I'm just going to borrow the maximum. So we, we now owe the bank 10,000 yen. But we're going to need it. <laughs> I can tell we're going to need it. So this time we got to do tracks that come up over this little chasm. So let's uh, let's start down here. And in order to have the tracks go up, if we look at the bottom right, there's a menu here. We'll hit F, and I can raise the track as I build it. Okay, I want to come level across all this. Now, this track is expensive doing it this way. But at least we're level here. So let's take advantage of that, and then we'll come through... 
this uh here and then we'll come around and then we got to come back across this chasm you know it might be a little shorter as i look at it if we cross over here all right let's see if we can make it around here and circle not quite let me uh, go ahead and delete. I don't know if I can just right click. Nope. I got to go back to the salvage. Let's knock this off. Hopefully we're making some money here while we're doing this. Let's see if we can't get this track to go around. All right. Let's get our stations down quickly and get this train moving. All right a train and we're going to drop one here this one needs to hold crude oil so it's starting us out fresh with one engine we're pretty level so i'm going to try again with the whole uh five i think let's go six just to push it and we'll accept that that's not too expensive 1250 So I should have placed it down before the oil well instead of right after it because now it's going to make an empty trip. But it's not the end of the world. Now the other thing it mentions here is you will need to assign workers from the city to power the plant for it to function. If I click on the city. As it grows, it says we get one worker for every eight population. So right now it says there's 100 population, so they're giving us 92 workers. And how I use the workers, if I click on this quest on the uh, power plant here, it says right above it, no workers assigned. So I can just click in there and I'm going to assign two workers. And now when this oil is delivered, here comes our train full of oil. These workers will turn that into power. All right, so we'll take a look here. And there we go. They're starting to stockpile this energy. Now, when I first played the demo, I thought I clicked on the power plant and I saw these little bolts here and I thought, oh, well, it's just transmitting power to the city and it's transmitting power to these oil wells and everything's hunky dory. Well, it's not. We need to actually set up a rail line to deliver power into the city. So that one's going to have to go up and down a hill. Let's see if we can, uh, get a track over here that will snake around. I don't know. I may have there. That looks good. We can do that. So let's come around this way. We want to come down. Let's start coming down here. Let's see V to go lower. F to go higher. So let's go to here and then Get me lower. Yep. Here. And then I think we can curve around this way. Boom. And now we got to go back up this hill. Like that. Now that one's got a pretty steep incline. So this, you can see, it's telling us uh, as I mouse over here what the inclines are. So this one's going to require some more engines. Let's get our stations down, though. One and two. And then we'll build our train. So let's uh let's get him close to where he's gonna load up on energy. Pop him down here. Now he's got uh energy cargo here. Let's give him let's give him another engine. How about two more engines? And let's go five, uh, five cargos and see how he does up those hills. This train's a bit more expensive. Let's go ahead and hit accept. We've got six energy waiting for us. We've got five cars to haul it. Let's just see how this goes. We'll see particularly when he goes uphill. Fortunately, when he's going really far uphill, he's empty not carrying any cargo you know it looks like we could be supplying more oil here because uh 
This guy is chewing up the oil pretty quick to produce energy. So we may want to put another train on this guy. Okay, here we go up the hill. Let's see how this guy does. Not too bad. The three engines, empty cargo. That's not bad. That may actually be part of the strategy of the game. Is uh, planning your inclines where you where you can <laughs> to have the train be empty. All right, let's see. We'll just keep an eye on things here for a second. When he delivers this, oh, he only got three energy. So that train is not filling up. And we're burning through that oil. We definitely need another train on this line. Let's go ahead and do it. Uh, and again, we won't make the mistake. We'll have it start right before he fills up. So let me right click out of there, pick train, drop one down here. I don't think we need the three engines here. So I'm going to hit delete. Elite. Just go with one engine. I think we can go six. I'm going to... One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to push it. We'll accept. Now it'll be a question of can this oil well produce? Or do we need to go head over here and do another, another whole track? I don't think there's a way of joining the tracks. At least I haven't found out how to do that. So it could be there. I poked around a little bit looking at the menus. I didn't see a way to combine the tracks. All right, there goes our second oil train. We've got decent oil supply here. I think we'll be okay. Let's go to the bank while we're waiting and pay off some of this debt. So we're not paying interest. All right, so now that gets us down to $4,000 loan. As we deliver the oil, we're getting paid. As we deliver this water, we're getting paid. Water on this line is still light. Let's see if I can... So I click on this train. And if you look at the bottom right, I can uh, configure it with the F. Why don't I try and delete? I'm going to delete a couple of these cars off of here. Because I think I'm paying maintenance on those. And we're not filling up all these trains. So we'll take two, two rail cars worth of cargo off of our three trains here. And we'll probably still move the same amount of water, but it will be a little bit cheaper for us to do it. This guy still looks like he could use more oil. And now this guy is starting to run low on oil. So we'll see if we can make it. We may need to run another rail across this chasm. Only reason I'm hesitating is it's going to cost a lot to do it. Let's just see. This guy is just going to be able to fill up. These trains are nicely spaced. Okay, we're delivering power. I'm not sure if we're delivering enough power. Definitely be delivering more power. Let's see. Yeah, he's only picking up. Boy, that's terrible, right? He's only picking up two power, even though we've got two trains now bringing oil. Yeah, that guy's not filling up. Well, we could level this one up. We're almost at 5,000 now. Let's go ahead and level up our oil well. That will help a little bit, at least. So it's one and a half times the production that we had before. There's some maintenance, I think, that just went by. Yeah, it's still not able to keep up. It's close. Boy, it's really close. So he's leaving with five. Let's see what the next train does. Look back at our city. We're accumulating more energy. He's still only getting two per trip. Let's see how if this guy gets a full six. Yeah, he's getting a full six. Another train's on its way. 
So we're starting to get more oil over to our power plant, but it still might not be enough. And even upgrading our oil well didn't, didn't quite do the job. All right. These trains look like they're leaving full. Okay, now he's taking... Yeah, he's still only taking two energy. All right, let's run another track from here across. Let's come across here where it's a little bit... You get some free supports. Come around this way. Back across. All right. Yeah, that was not cheap to build that, but we'll pop down a couple stations. And now we're going to have to borrow some money, I think. Let's go to the bank. Borrow 3000 Let's get another oil train down here. So with our same configuration, seems like that's been working pretty good for us. Uh, let's see. Except we want two more of these. Do I not have the money? One, two. All right, let's delete all this. Looks like it took the water. We want six of these guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, let's do it. So if we get more oil over to the oil power plant, we'll obviously produce more energy. This train can fill up, hopefully. And then uh, hopefully we will meet the city's needs faster. There is a little counter here on the total produce, so we're going to reach the end of the mission pretty much no matter what, whether we level the city up or not. Looks like our train has got three energy this time. This oil train is just now kicking into motion, so we'll see if it bumps up the amount of energy he hauls next time. Looks like it's going to. We've already got four waiting. Okay, we've got five waiting. He may leave full this time. Nice. Okay, very cool. And look, we've made some money back. We can go pay off that debt so we don't keep paying interest. Always good to do in real life or in rail grade, the game. Okay, no more uh, paying finance charges. All right, this looks pretty nicely balanced to me. Let's see how we do. This guy still looks like he needs more energy. Let's just see how it goes. Make some more money. We're making pretty good money at this point. We've paid off a lot of debt. That train is leaving full with energy. We don't have a huge backlog of energy waiting. We're three away from completing this mission. That oil well looks good. These trains are leaving full. This looks fairly decently balanced. All right, we're at 49 out of 50. I'm not sure what that is. If that's the energy. Let's see. Yep, there we go. All right, victory. 2559, new personal best. I'll hit continue. And that's it. That's our demo. Thank you for playing Railgrade. We are a small team of programmers and artists attempting to bring Railgrade to life. Thank you for giving your time and attention to our creation. We hope Railgrade has earned your interest as there is much more to come. Your thoughts, feedback, and comments are extremely valuable to us. You can share your thoughts on the game over on the Steam forums, or if you really love the demo, head over to our Steam page to wishlist Railgrade. Very cool. And then it's got a link to the Discord as well as the Steam forums and all that good stuff. Cool. Well, that's it. That's our quick little preview of Railgrade. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do give the video a thumbs up if you like these uh, 
early preview videos, uh, let me know in the comments. Let me know in the comments what you think of the game. Uh, but yeah, for now, that's it. This is GliderCat signing off saying I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.